Hi all, um, I'm just doing this video to try to help people get an understanding of how caravan brakes work um, and how you should properly chock your caravan onto ramps if you're putting it on ramps to put it on the pitch and I'm going to demonstrate this with this Conway um, folding camper which has just had the brakes properly set up. What you can see there is the energy store and that is where it's different to a car brakes. A car handbrake works directly on the brakes on the wheels and when you apply it it will not move forwards or backwards. With a caravan with a properly set up braking system you can pull the handbrake on two clicks you won't be able to pull it forward but you can push it backwards that's because the shoe mechanism when it's pressing against the drum and you rotate the wheel backwards the shoe mechanism will actually turn backwards and if there is not enough um, frick force in that energy store what I'm showing here is pulling the handbrake right up and what that's doing it's compressing the spring in the energy store and that will act against the brakes and what that will do it will allow some energy to be dissipated into the system if the shoes drop are trying to drop away from the um, drum if you have only got a couple of clicks a few clicks on the handbrake and you try to push it backwards so two clicks on the handbrake you'll be able to push it backwards can't pull it forward if you pull the handbrake fully upward you will not be able to pull the caravan forwards or backwards and that's because you've got energy in the energy store what I'm showing here is I can't pull it forward but I can push the caravan backwards <coughs> so I can't pull it forwards but I could pull it backwards and that's with two clicks on the handbrake okay and this is why you never pull a caravan onto ramps you always reverse it so a quick recap the cylinder thing that you see just at the bottom of the handbrake on the rod that goes to your brakes that's an energy store this is now four clicks and did you see it slightly moved backwards four clicks it slightly moved backwards because the energy store released some of its spring mechanism when the drums were reversed when the drum reversed the shoes and they were dropping away from the drum and it and it made the system reapply the brakes so what I'm doing here is I'm pulling the trailer onto two ramps which is not really what you would normally do but I'm kind of showing this from an extreme so I'm pulling the trailer onto the ramps um, I'm going to put the handbrake on two clicks because I know that that will hold it in the forward direction. So I'm going to put the, the jockey wheel down and I'm going to put the handbrake on two clicks. There you go. That will normally hold the trailer. That, was, that will normally make you think the brakes are on. Okay. So I'm going to wind it up, drop it off the car. And there you go. It will roll up off the ramps and potentially your caravan could end up somewhere where you don't want it to be. What I'm going to do now is put it back on the car and what I'm going to do what you should do and that is to reverse onto the ramps. Okay. In doing so you will fully compress the overrun device and um, obviously that's going to uh, release the brakes. Um, what I will do then, you will see, is this is where you have to fully apply your handbrake. So um, under normal conditions, you would, you would um, on Alco's instruction, you would fully apply the handbrake so it's, it's pointing straight up. That is the normal fully on position for a caravan handbrake, straight up. But what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to reverse it on. You can see the overrun device has gone right up. So I'm going to reverse on. I'm going to put the handbrake on two clicks because I know that will hold it in the forward direction. I'm just going to allow the car to move forward because as you see the overrun device is fully compressed. So I'm going to nudge the car forward to get the hitch out because if I, I take the caravan off 
at that point the hitch is going to come off the tow ball and then shove itself forward into your nice shiny bumper. So that's far enough forward. So what I'm going to do then is take it off the car and as you can see the trailer stays where it is and that's reversing onto a ramp. Okay, it's not going to go backwards because it's got to go up a ramp. Um, so I'll move the car out of the way but if I'm going to sight uh, my caravan there what I need to do as you can see I can't pull it forward um, but what I need to do now is put up extra put some extra energy into the energy store so that it can't move in any windy conditions or anything like that so the handbrake needs to be fully up and in that position right the handbrake is fully on and it will not go down the ramp.